So join us now for another episode of Science of the Rich and Famous. Hey, Ted Nugent. Can I have your autograph, dude? Yeah, sure. How'd you get in here? My third cousin's the janitor. Thought I recognized the resemblance. Like, how do you get your guitar to make that screaming sound? Feedback. The bane of parents everywhere. Plain and simple, kid. It's physics. Huh? No, physics. You see, my vacuous friend, physics is the science of matter and energy and of the interreactions between them. In the case of my guitar, the almighty whack master, the energy ultimately transforms into sound waves of extreme volume and exquisite tone. Whoa, waves. Excellent. Ah, and brain waves. Also excellent. My guitar is mostly solid, so when I pick a note, the vibrations of the strings have nothing to strengthen them to make them heard. So, we use pickups. <laughs> Ooh, and it's a keeper. The pickup is a magnet wrapped in coils of wire. Move any wire in the presence of a magnet and current will flow. The pickups translate the string's vibrations into impulses of electricity. The frequency of the electric impulse matches the frequency, or pitch, of the vibrating string. The note that goes in here comes out here, okay? Okay, the impulse is pretty weak, and I hate that. So it travels through this wire to the amplifier. My friend, the amplifier, takes the weak impulse and feeds it voltage and makes it big and strong, kind of Ted-like, <laughs> strong enough to power a speaker and the youth of America. The speaker transmits sound by converting the electrical impulses into air motion, commotion. Excuse me. Like the pickup, a speaker also has a coil of wire and a magnet. And as the electrical pulses enter the coil, a magnetic field is generated, a field that switches polarity with the alternating current. This field interacts with the magnetic field of the permanent magnet. And what do two magnets do? Attract or repel. This transfers the electrical energy into air motion, motion here in the speaker cone. This is still good for country and western. Okay, now comes the good part. Feedback, whoa, has a nice ring to it. Feedback happens when those recreated sound waves come back at me from the speaker. If my note is amplified with enough power, which it is, some of the sound waves will hit the vibrating guitar string, revibrate it along that same frequency, and reamplify the note, creating a loop. And each reamplified note happens a little later, creating a time delay effect. This is feedback, and I love it. You know what happens when you stick? a microphone up to a speaker. <coughs> Sorry, man. But if I strike just one or two notes on my guitar, I use just a few frequencies. And I can control it. Watch me. By increasing the volume or by changing the distance relationship between my guitar and the speakers, I can manipulate the tone to create a stranglehold baby. <laughs> 